dear students in this video we will discuss one uh, electrical circuit with two meshes and we will apply the mesh analysis on that circuit to determine the branch currents now let us consider an electric circuit as shown in the diagram here our objective is to determine the current in each branch right so there are one two three there are three branches basically um, branch b a b and then branch b c d and then branch b d this is the center branch basically so there are three branches and now uh, the procedure to apply mesh analysis on electrical network uh, is like this the first thing is that we will identify the number of meshes so the number of meshes here are one and two so these are the two meshes basically however we can also apply the uh, mesh analysis or kvl on the outer loop this one right we can apply on this loop also okay so <clears throat> now these are the elementary loops a b d a and b c uh, b to c to d and back to b so these are two elementary loops here right now the next thing we do is we assume some circulating current in every mesh so these are the two circulating currents i1 and i2 which are uh, in the mesh 1 and mesh 2 respectively now uh, the direction of these currents is assumed to be clockwise this is totally an assumption you can take any direction but uh, for the sake of convenience or simplicity uh, we try to take the same direction in every mesh right then uh, we will mark some currents in each of the branch so this is the current flowing in this particular branch now because uh, this branch uh, d a b is not shared by any other mesh so the current in this branch is nothing but i1 only right and this current will flow in this way from a to b at junction b when it will reach uh, we will divide this current into two parts now this is also an assumption i am taking it as an assumption right okay because i do not know how the current would be flowing okay now let us mark the uh, directions here uh, this is how this current is flowing in this particular branch now in this branch if you see uh, the branch b uh, c d is not shared by any other mesh so the current in this branch is nothing but i2 right however the current in this middle branch b d is nothing but i1 minus i2 how it is i1 minus i2 because i1 current will reach to junction b and then from here you have i2 current leaving this junction and rest of the current as per kcl will be flowing in branch bd right so the next thing that we do is we uh, write the kvl equation of each mesh in the circuit right so let us write the kvl equations okay okay then let us come here it is uh, i'll take another ring right okay so the current is assumed to be flowing in this particular direction now this is how it is flowing right um, like this and this is the current i1 and this is the current i2 here right okay and then in the central branch we have current i1 minus i2 this is how we have the notations right so let us apply kvl on in mesh one so kvl in mesh one will be okay let us compare the direction of the circulating current with the direction of voltage and these two directions are matching so we will take this this case as the positive so i have written as positive 120 volt here then let us compare the direction of circulating current with the current in 40 ohm resistance so it is same so i'll take it as minus 40 i1 this is the drop here then the same current when is flowing through 20 ohm resistance so the current in 20 ohm resistance is i1 minus i2 direction is parallel so i'll take negative for parallel and the current is i1 minus i2 which is into 20 20 ohm is the value of resistance connected and as per kvl the net effect of voltages in a mesh is zero so we have got that particular equation here 
Now we can simplify this equation as like this. Now let us go further. Okay, now uh, this is how we have simplified this equation. So ultimately we have got one equation, which is equation number one, which is three I one minus I two is equal to six. Similarly, we can apply KVL in mesh two also. So let us see how the KVL in mesh two is uh, applied. So I'll erase everything first, then I'll draw once again. So the directions assumed in each branch are these. So this is how the current is assumed to be flowing. It is totally assumed to be flowing like this. I do not know how it is flowing, but I'm assuming. Okay, so this is current I2 here. And in this branch, we have current I1 minus I2 in branch BD. Now let us write the KVL equation here. Now, how will we write the KVL equation? So let us write it here itself. So 60 into the current I2. So let us compare the direction of circulating current with the branch current. So these two directions are matching. So I'll write, uh, I'll write it here, minus 60 I2. Then the direction of circulating current, as far as this battery is concerned, it is opposite. The current in a battery is from minus to plus, sorry, in the direction of the uh, voltage of a battery is from minus to plus. So it is not matching, they are anti-parallel. So I'll write it minus eight here. I'll write it minus eight. Then let us compare the direction of circulating current with the uh, current in BD branch. And let us see what happens, right? Okay. So let us compare this direction. So on comparing the direction of the circulating current with the direction of this I1 minus I2 in BD, we have found that it is anti-parallel and for anti-parallel, I'll write uh, plus 20 into I1 minus I2. And then I started from junction B. So I'm ending up at junction B. So it is equal to zero, right? So this is the KVL equation of this particular circuit, uh, this particular mesh, mesh two. So this is what I have written here, minus 60 I2 minus uh, 65. So I have, to, I have done some mistake here. So it is not eight actually. Um, this is not eight and I'm sorry for that this is 65 so i'll write it here this is 65 right <clears throat> so let us come to the uh, equations minus 65 plus 20 and this so we'll simplify this equation we have got equation number two so we can solve these two equation equation one and equation two to calculate the value of i1 and i2 so this is how we can solve these algebraically these two equations can be solved algebraically to find out the unknown parameters and unknown parameters are the um, mesh currents or branch currents which are flowing in each branch or in each mesh, right? So uh, we have got I2 on solving. For I2, we have got, uh, it is equal to minus 0 0.341 ampere. And when we substitute this I2 in any of the equation, either in equation number one or in equation number two, uh, so we'll get I1 is equal to 1.886 ampere. Now these two currents are flowing in uh, the uh, branches DAB. Uh, this is branch DAB. This one is branch DAB and this is branch BCT respectively. Now what is the current in uh, BD branch? So how will we find out? We'll subtract these two current because we know that in BD branch the current is I1 minus I2. So we have got uh, this 0.227. So the negative sign of current I2 only indicates that actually the current I2 is not flowing what we have assumed. The current is actually flowing in the opposite direction that we have assumed. So it is not flowing like this. It is actually flowing like this. This is I2. Okay. So this is it for this particular numerical. So uh, we have seen a uh, two mesh network in which we have tried to find out the current through each branch using mesh analysis and you can solve a network using mesh analysis in this way. So thank you so much guys.